Imagine being able to make your boss's daughter fall in love with you. If you're able to do that, we're pretty sure you're playing 3D chess with the rest of the world and that your mere presence on this planet is enough to give most of us endless hope of all the possibilities that exist in this realm. For football players, it's never easy to get along with a manager, since head coaches tend to be super demanding. The most elite ones ensure that you don't get carried away and set certain boundaries, but there are times when a manager's family becomes involved and there's nothing you can do about it, even if you're a manager or even an owner of a club. So today, we're going to look back at a few instances where footballers ended up dating the daughters of people they report to on a daily basis. Before we get started, we want to share the sponsor of today's video. The OneFootball app is the ultimate football platform and is a must-have for every football fan so that you can follow all of your favorite leagues, teams and players all the time right from your phone. You can be sure to turn on notifications for specific players to be instantly alerted when they score a goal or when they're involved in other breaking news. It is the best and easiest way to stay up to date with everything football. Click the link in the description down below to download the app right now. You won't regret it. While Alvaro Vasquez did end up spending nearly a decade as a Real Madrid player and won many trophies for them, the Spaniard's greatest achievement was that he managed to become the son-in-law of Fernando Hierro, who was the assistant coach of Real Madrid. Unfortunately, Vasquez was unable to stick around for long with Claudia Hierra and after splitting up, he has now started dating Paula Gago. Once touted as the next big thing in Brazilian football, Alexandra Pato was quite a hot commodity during his time at AC Milan. However, the striker was unable to live up to his billing and eventually returned to Brazil. However, former Milan owner Silvio Berlusconi was always a fan of the striker and gave his blessing after finding out that his daughter Barbara was dating his employee. The two spent nearly three years together. Unfortunately, the relationship had its caveats. The AC Milan dressing room started acting careful around their teammate and many of his teammates believed that Pato's poor form was linked with dating the boss's daughter. Pato moved back home to Corinthians, a move that spelt the end of their relationship. Throughout his career, Ronaldinho was known for having a party lifestyle. The Brazilian was a magician on the field, but off the field, he loved to drink and party with several scantily clad women. However, that can never make us forget about his time at Barcelona, where he became one of the greatest of all time. Ronaldinho's best performances came while playing under Frank Rijkaard, who is one of the reasons why the Catalan giants started winning things after a poor start to the current century. According to rumors, Ronaldinho had a fling with Frank Rijkaard's daughter, Lindsay, during his time in Spain. The two started dating in 2007, and it's believed that the secret affair ended pretty quickly. About a year ago, the Daily Mail posted pictures of former Tottenham midfielder Deli Ali leaving a restaurant with Maria, the daughter of Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola. The images were posted just a few days after the pair were seen snogging at a famous bar in London. The two have not made an official announcement yet, with Maria claiming that they're just friends. However, we're pretty sure that people who are friends normally don't lock lips, especially in a crowded place. Deli Ali is close to leaving for Turkey, so it remains to be seen if the two can make a long-distance relationship work. One of the greatest strikers in South Asian football, Sunil Chetri, holds multiple records for India. And while he's definitely a legend in his own right in the region, Chetri also did something few players have managed to do. In 2017, he married the daughter of his former manager, Sobrati Bhattacharya, Sonam. The two had been dating for 13 years before they tied the knot. Chetri played under Bhattacharya at club level. It's never easy when you're related to Diego Maradona. Just ask Sergio Aguero, who was married to the late striker's daughter. The two started dating a few years before they got married, and Diego Maradona was in love with his son-in-law. In 2010, Aguero played for Argentina at the World Cup with Maradona at the helm. The two men had a very good relationship, but it all soured in 2012 when Sergio decided to walk away from Giannina, with whom he had a son, Benjamin. Maradona never forgave Aguero and once called him a wimp. 